welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Arida and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I edit my summer TikTok and Reels. The reason why I wanted to create this video is because I recently created a new TikTok page which just has a bunch of travel snippets uploaded to it. Um, we went away for three weeks to Thailand if you don't know so I was filming a bunch of things there and uploading and we had just come back from a family holiday in Croatia and again I filmed a bunch of different snippets that I wanted to edit and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to show you a very simple and easy way of how I film, edit and upload my TikTok slash reels um, and I wanted to share that with you. In this video I'm using Filmora Go to edit the video I'm going to show you and they're currently running a summer creator campaign that you can get involved with as well but on that a little bit later on in the video. Now let's just jump straight into it. The way in which I film my videos is super simple, I like to keep it minimal, simple and easy. The moment I see something that I want to photograph, I usually just take a quick video, it's around 3-5 to five seconds, I make sure I hold the camera either in place or I pan or I do some sort of, you know, creative movement with the camera so that when I edit it, it incorporates nicely together, but mainly I kind of just hold my camera and capture that moment of whatever is happening within those three to five seconds. I make sure to capture the sound as well because sometimes when you overlay music to your video it's so nice to kind of have that sound in the background as well. And of course there's a bunch of clips that have me in them. Um, those are usually either filmed by my boyfriend or a tripod. Now I would say this is quite a big tip having videos of people in the reels because it makes it a bit more personal everyone can kind of go to a location and film the same thing but what makes it different is the people in it um so i yeah i always love seeing kind of people within reels and tiktoks and um, so i always make sure that i'm either in it or people that i'm with are in the videos as well so i mentioned tripods i have two main ones that i use that are kind of big stand up ones and then one or two smaller handheld ones for reels i mainly use my kind of bigger ones um so this one is a super basic amazon one it's i'll link it down below it was super affordable and i've had this for a very long time this was the first tripod i bought when i first started my channel and it has done me very well so it has a little bit at the top where you put the phone holder you like screw it on and you pop your phone in there um, but yeah this one's the first one I would say this is my smaller one and then my bigger one you're actually on right now so I can show you it but I will link it down below it's a gorgeous matte black tripod and it goes taller than me so yeah that's my bigger tripod so those are the two main tripods which I use to help me edit TikToks and Reels I went in my photos on my phone and I created a folder called Summer Reel and I just added all videos I wanted to incorporate in my reel. Um, so as you can see I've got just a bunch of different ones, they're all very blue, I guess that could be one of the themes I go for. I most likely won't use all of them um, but I will tell you a bit more about that in the next step. Anywho, now that we have put them all in a folder, let's just jump in for more, go and edit. New project. Then I'm going to click on recent, go down to summer reel and these are the videos in the summer reel. Some of these videos are actually live photos which I've exported into video. You can do this through the app or you can actually do just do this through photos which I always find the easiest. Um, you just go into settings and then export as video. Super simple. Um, so I'm just going to select all of them. So here it's given me a 30 video limit, which is absolutely fine. I import these. Now that all the footage is imported, it's time to start editing. Now the first thing I like to do as soon as the footage is imported is pick a song because I tend to edit to a song if that makes sense. So when there's like a beat, then you know the scene changes and things like that. My one tip about music for TikTok and Reels is when you're scrolling through it either, if you hear a song you like, just save it. 
and then it's so much easier when you're actually editing your own TikToks because there's a bunch of songs that you've already saved and you love. Now that I have chosen a song and all the videos are imported in from more ago, it's time to order them and make sure everything kind of fits well aesthetically and just make sure everything kind of goes to the beat. The best way which I like to edit my videos is actually just making every single one 0.5 seconds long. I just think it always creates such a cool effect and it's like super super quick so that's actually what I'm going to do so you can see at the top right of each video how long it is and I just kind of this drag it to shorten the length so once I do this to every single video, then I listen, watch it through and listen to the music and if there's any specific beat drops and I just edit specific videos to be a bit longer or a bit shorter, just depending on what fits well. This one I'm just going to zoom in. When you export live photos, sometimes, well all the time, they're just not the right size for videos, so you just have to zoom in a little bit, which is absolutely fine because once you export it's high enough quality that you actually don't realise it's a live photo or it was a live photo. There's so many different editing options within the app as well. You can control the speed, the motion, the volume, you can cut it, you can crop it, you can cut out the background, like there's so so many options. You can mask it. Um, right now I'm just kind of using um, the simple tools like cut and crop just for the ease of editing. Oh. I think it's quite cool. I, I'm not 100% sure on the song. I found a really well suited song. So I'm really happy with it. It's 9 seconds long which is perfect. The thing is with here you can also add a bunch of text. You can add so many effects like transitions. Shall we add one? Let's do a little motion transition between scene 1 and scene 2 when beat drop happens. So that's when all the movement um, increases within the video. So let's see. Shall we do, let's do side to side, let's do this one. That's fun. For now I'm happy with it, so when I go to export it, I just click the 720p um, up at the top, and I'm just going to click export, save video, and then that will just take a wee bit of time to export. Um, it says here just don't close the app when it's exporting just because you will lose your process um, and your progress. But that's it exporting. That is everything I do to edit, film and upload my reels and TikToks. I keep it super simple as you can see and let's have a little reveal of the final exported TikTok. <laughs> that you can also get involved with their current video creator campaign. I will link the hashtags down below that you can use and you have the chance to get featured on their social platforms which I think is super fun so get involved. Um, you've got until the 22nd of August to get involved with that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and love you so much. You have no idea. Thank you so so much for liking and subscribing and commenting. It's been so amazing just reading everyone's lovely comments and I just yeah I'm just like in a happy bubble hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out the next time I upload and I will see you very very soon with a brand new video have a nice rest of your day guys